On this week's episode, we break down YCS Chicago. Remember, if you like our Yugo content, including the weekly podcast, deck profiles, speed jewel content, and live streams, it'll be a huge help if you like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you really, really like us, you can click on the notification bell, so whenever we upload new content, you'll be the first to know. But that's enough of that. This is the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! Podcast. And I'm Bragg. I'm joined today by Jake. Hello. And Lachlan. Hi. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, I, I guess there, when you turn up on the, um, for the people who like listening, uh, just go over to the YouTube channel and have a quick peek at uh, Lachlan's like, profile image, which he specified I have to use. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he, he kind of forced it it's upon me. I don't know, everyone told me it was good. Well, it's mainly because he feels it makes him look less of a criminal. You be the judge. Oh no, that's terrible. I haven't. Cr- I didn't um, crop it properly. This is what happens. When I try things on the fly. Look what you forced me into. Anyway, let's get into it. <laughs> How's that work in Yu-Gi-Oh? I'll start with you, Jake. Um. Well, this week I barely played because um, Kingdom Hearts three came out on Tuesday, so I've basically oh, been locked away Kingdom playing. Hurt shut- me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Sounds I'm exactly like, the same with you. You just sub in the word Dino Mist and it's exactly the same fucking conversation. So go Kingdom fuck yourself. Dino Mist. Yeah. So, Whoa. Fucking, I just can't came out. So, that. Anyway, before the fucking axe murderer started talking over me, um, I didn't play much with this week because a game came out that I was quite interested in. So, yeah. See, I, I, I definitely understand your plight there. That's how I've been for the last, you know, two years. Hmm. <laughs> With uh, a, with, yep. How was yours, Lachlan? <laughs> don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. <laughs> I didn't play any Yu-Gi-Oh this week because there was this game I came out and uh, I was too busy making fun of everyone who played it. And so, <laughs> I had no chance to play any Yu-Gi-Oh. But it's on Xbox. How can you make fun of a game that's on Xbox? Xbox is as <laughs> good as don't miss. <laughs> You just tacked on and missed under the end of any sentence. <laughs> yeah, because I'm being you. Not a bit. And mine was more speed jewel stuff. I ended up coming into the locals on the weekend, uh, played a few games, realized my, uh, my tune deck doesn't really gel with any other techs or stuff, so that was a bit, a bit rough. No, the tunes in um, Speed Duels are a bit like Dynamist in Real Duels. Oh. Yeah, they uh, they go all out, and you know, if there's just one <laughs> one counter, no, nope. no deal. What are you guys on about? I'm talking about my deck. <laughs> Me, yeah, it's your deck. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> comparable there. Dynamist can play through four or three goats. <laughs> you can't play through shit. The other thing okay. you can play through is battle fucking interruption. Which yeah. is the worst interruption. It really isn't. <laughs> anyway. Uh, uh, and then the no, no, then the rest of it was uh, playing on a dueling book as well. So they introduced uh, speed duels as well. So that was, that's been, I, it's probably the most I've played and thought about Yu-Gi-Oh this week in a little while. Rather, mm. than, rather than watching YCS Chicago as well. And by watching, I mean... Hitting a five on the on the strategy page. Uh, actually, I was like, I was ready to kind of lay into them about their coverage, and you know, it's twenty nine two and whatever the stream and stuff. But um, apparently, on a Farfa cast, uh, Ryan Levine had said, I've, "I've like this is I've read a comment saying about someone saying on a on an unofficial podcast that uh, apparently like uh, they need to have a union." reps to do streams and stuff like for because it counts as a sports broadcast or whatever so like since uh, it's, since it's a broadcast and it's yeah yeah north america that it, it it's pro it's a whole lot more effort than it needs to be so that's why they keep it limited that's the rumor <laughs> yeah maybe but like it's if they, all right company uh, they actually they have to use like the all i think it also has to be like a venue thing so yeah if like Using that venue, that venue's like, well, if you ever want to broadcast video from here, it has to be via our broadcast methods, and they're all, you know, costs and stuff. What were you saying, Lachlan? What was your point? Fuck them on me. 
yeah. How how about you just pay up, maybe? Like, look, like our getting YC, look, our YCS had stream. We didn't have giant cards. Yeah, because we're they didn't uh, have a stream. They had giant cards. I know which one I'd prefer. I just want the fucking clock. Well, actually, I didn't read if there was proper clocks up, but I'm only going to assume there was. If you were there, let us know in the freezing, freezing cold of Chicago. That would not be a tournament I would be really keen on. And by looking at the the the, the play oh, uh, the field, yeah, I I just fucking realised like yeah yeah they're in the middle of like Antarctic. Yep. Okay, no, so there's a lot of questions. As, I have a lot of answers as to why the result Arctic. was what it was. You don't think good like, people showed up? It's well, it's that. Well, it's that for two reasons because it's like. Obviously, the freezing cold weather, and it was Super Bowl weekend there too, wasn't it? Yeah, so people would have gone down to Atlanta. Yeah, okay. Things uh, are coming together. Or would have wanted to stay home for their for whatever they do. Like, I'm not, I'm not sure. Is traveling to the city with the Super Bowl on a big thing outside of like the few hundred, like the hundred thousand people I assume turn up to the Super Bowl, which even that's probably an exaggeration. I don't know. Let us know if you are like, if you're at the event or you didn't or you skipped the event for whatever reason. But for yeah, my, Drew D, let us know because I'm pretty sure he's the only American that listens. Yeah, he's meant to add me on Facebook, but he hasn't. Um... What do you mean? Our, our, our analytics say that like eighty percent of our audience is American. Where the fuck are the Australian cunts? <sighs> no one likes them in Australia. <laughs> I'm dropping the c word for you, Australia. Yeah, but that's because I'm not that's saying that. Maybe, maybe we should. Yeah. Uh, well, that's that's something we'll probably should leave to a production meeting, which we will never do. Mm. Anyway, so the field anyway, of fucking. Yep. Yep. Good. Lunar lights. Yeah. Well, I mean, so <laughs> lunar lights. We're one. Gonna, we're gonna work our way up. Oh yeah, I was gonna. Let's let's we just, we'll just like, start at number one. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. It's premature. Yeah. Uh, Danger. Lunar light won the the match. Uh, the match. The tournament. The top decks, the rest of the top decks were in the top 32, were 10 Sky Striker, 9 Danger Thunder Dragons, 1 Pure Thunder Dragon, 2 Subterra, 2 Crusadia, 1 Trickstar, 1 Prank Kids, 1 ABC, 1 Cyber Dragon, 1 Pendulum Magician, 1 Pure Danger, 1 Danger Orcast. <laughs> well, oh what a smos. Do you want to pick one deck to talk about? Uh, well, we can talk about the Lunar Light deck first. Okay, you talk, uh, I don't know shit about the Lunar Light deck. So you bust in, and we're going to like just break it down slowly and work our way to the first to say that it won. So you ruin that, and then when we go to talk about it, you're like, "I oh, know nothing about it." <laughs> All right, well, let's talk, let's talk top thirty-two then. Penalty magician. Oh, I didn't know. Well, t- All right. No, no, no. Because this is the best play in the entire fucking YCS. Fuck <sighs> you, know what? This All right, man. Let's not worry about the fact that was in top 32, not Let's first. Let's see if I can yeah. get the overlay going in, in, in a proper way. Yep, uh, what are you going to say about it? This man was making Kelly Yuga off turn. Yeah. Wasn't that, that unconfirmed? Is... What? Wasn't that just a rumour? No, I no, swear no, it wasn't no, confirmed. no. Deck list uh, from Ready for Jewel, who did the compiling. I'm pretty sure it comes from a YouTube deck profile. Uh, no, it's right there, clear as crystal. Kelly Yuga is in the deck. I was at work when... Well, actually, no, I was on my break. And I was getting sushi. And honestly, I was like... I almost nutted when I saw that. (laughs) 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 It's incredible. Do you... Like, have you guys read Kelly Yuga recently? Yeah, it does the same thing as others thought, and then destroys all spells and traps at Um, them, basically. No. So, that's where you're wrong. What? Is that? All right, chance. Other thought says, monster. Yeah, other cards and their effects cannot be activated on field, and other cards and effects are negated. And it yeah. can destroy all spells and traps, and they can't respond or some shit. Is everything? That's ridiculous. Kelly Yuga is a beast. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yep, 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 yep. I see what you're getting at. The first effect. That's that. Um, yeah, I always forget that rank up XE summons, and which is the whole point of you know, as a thought. 
Which yeah. is that's really what your takeaway of that deck was, right? Of pendulums. Yeah. Yeah. So. Did. So that good. that was um that was the cute play that um the winner of uh, Raphael Nevin Danger Lunar Lights. So I'm going to put up the thing now. Complexity card game team member as well. Thank you very much for the deck list. Um, there it is. So uh, very much the same plan as well as in there. They've got the. Uh, They've got the rank up spell, the Phantom Knight one, and they actually summon off turn as a thought, which locks out monster effects for the rest of the turn. So there, yeah, the King Kalyu gives probably I could see it actually being more of use, really. Like monster effects. I'm telling you, if I came close to nothing, Triff was full out, man. <laughs> like, I did so um angry. did Triff come up with that, or is that just a no? Triff didn't come up with that. Hey. Finally, oh, something, something you can't claim. Oh, <laughs> so the only problem there is with that play is that the ranked up spell can only be activated in the main phase. So yep. your opponent does have like a very small window in which they can out it. Yep. And like if you have an Xe monster with no material and you like, well you, well, you would have searched for it. Like people would have seen you do it. They do have a window to try and stop, but like yeah. it needs very specific things to stop it. And basically, um, basically you need a kaiju. Yeah, which is like very much why like that strategy is kind of on the radar. Like I, watching the deck list back, he said he only um, used it when he was made to go first and stuff. Otherwise, he was going second and using the lunar light sway TK because that's what they do. That's what they do and what they've always done. And it turns out, like, I mean, like this thing, like there's been like a lunar light player at our locals who I never like I. I always half take seriously because I know that that deck can just kill you out of nowhere. You kind of got to go. All right. It, it, do, it, it doesn't feel right. Fuck this match up. But so its problem before is that it didn't have enough time to do the build up because, like, you have to go through each of the fusions, and particularly in MR four, it was particularly difficult because you ran out of resources before you could really get there. But now, like, one of their most busted cards came out in the new set, the Lunar Life Fusion, which means, like, particularly, well, if you're going second, your opponent's going to have a monster from the extra deck. And it basically works like Shadow Fusion. Oh. You can send a monster from deck or extra deck as part of the fusion material. So well, they basically just go straight to the big one. This bloke wasn't running the fusion. Was he not? No. Nope. Oh. Um, they they explain the combo on the channel and think of that. But yeah, like that was the, the big takeaways. Everyone bought out. Um, not everyone. Uh, a good number of people bought out instant like uh, Lunar Light Fusion. Mm. And turns out he wasn't even playing the bastard. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. But yeah, so but there's still another combo where he can OT. He, he was OTKing people, so. Well, see, the thing is, you can keep going up and up, but it's the first like the first fusion OTK is on its own. Like he's only but, running two it? fusions. Yeah, he's. Which one? Which 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 which? Panther which dances. One? Hmm. Uh. This card can attack all monsters your opponent controls twice this turn. Yep, that's okay. that's the one. Oh my god, there's just so much shit in this. Close that. Um Yeah, so Panther Dancer does do oh, that. And it doesn't destroy yeah, and it doesn't destroy the monster the first time it attacks it, and it gains two hundred every time it attacks. Okay. Yeah. That and um, it Cat Dancer, sorry. It's the second fusion. It goes Cat Dancer, and then from that, into one other thing. Cat then Panther... Into... Sorry. Cat... Sorry, Panther Dancer. Panther, and... Le I think Leo? No, Leo's the new one. I don't know, whatever. And the other... One of the other builds that really stood out was the um, Danger Orchest. Uh, I'm so keen on that. I'm so keen on that. Weren't they running very minimal orcist cards? Yeah, five of them. <laughs> oh, and the and the links. The thing is that deck recycles like a mofo. Like the links all shuffle stuff from the banished, and like you have to banish them to get stuff going. So like you can justify it in that build. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Uh, and that was uh that had a good match up because oh he was um he was playing a go second build as well and was running Denkos in the main <laughs> that's hot 
So yeah, with De between Denko and um, Pranker Top and all that stuff, they were dealing with uh, Sky Strikers pretty well, Alter Guys pretty well, and you know, and that and that Lunar Light matchup would have been in their favor as well. Uh, speaking of uh, Alter Geist, no tops. <laughs> Thank Legend fuck. Is. I fucking hate that deck. So there you go. From without even being hit, they've gone from. In saying this, though, it seems like it's just transitioning from a spellcaster neg dot deck to a flippy boy neg dot deck. <laughs> yeah. And I find the flippy boys more annoying. So the you're referring to the sub terrors, I guess. Where the flippy boys. Yes, two of them are topped. I've got one of the lists up here. I um, can't imagine them being very different to each other, to be honest. Yeah, so... My God. That's... Gozens, yeah. Gozens, uh... Is that... You can, there can only be one down there? Yeah. They, like, they can play every single one of those floodgates. Gozen, Rivalry, and there can only be one. Yeah. Oh, sorry. No, I take that back. They can't play Rivalry, but they can play the other two. Yeah. And they're playing the new pot as well. Yeah, because, like, his entire extra deck is just cherry targets. Yeah, he's got the buster. Oh, dear Jesus. Is that how? <laughs> buster, Dante, <laughs> Curious, PK Link, um, is old. Like, it's all just there. For, oh, and the fucking Electromite. It's all just there for uh, cherry. He doesn't fuck about any of it. Um, so what? It, it, it's next to be banned. What card? That PK Link. It's broke. Yeah, it's pretty dumb. Mm. Yeah. I don't know whether they will ban it, though, because it's, like, the only reason why people would buy that box and people would still be buying it. So, like, they'll just limit and ban stuff around it. Until next Cause year. They've already, they've, well, they've already got the reprints out of all the PK stuff, so they can ban that to their heart's content. They've already got the money out of it. Uh, with that ABC Buster as well, uh, Calvin uh, topped with ABC Sky Strike at like in YCS. So... That's interesting enough. Um, what else was there? Trickstar, I didn't really see that one. Uh, the the Prank Kids player was playing the Thunder Dragon combo. Um, and that's about really anything else. No, oh, the Crusaders, I assume, were just OTKing. That's the thing, it's just OTK decks, go second. Is this what... Yeah. Wow, it's just so... Surely there's a, a deck that can go first good. Oh, yeah, yeah, my deck does both. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, are you going to deny this, Jake? Okay, you're first a Necros player, and his only off-turn plays to stop the battle phase. You have a field card that stops him from doing that. Yep. I'm good. <laughs> uh, that's, like, that's the thing. So with the meta shaping up like that, do we see it staying as go second, or will a deck that goes first really, really well kind of reign on the parade? Well, that's what Altergeist are meant to be able to do, kind of, but they didn't do it. Well... Well, look, I'm not going to, like, sit here and shit on it, but people said that our YCS was a joke because there was so much rogue. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, this is... I didn't Actually, there was, like, 2,000, 3,000 players, right? Somewhere in between that. Uh... Yeah, like, I don't know whether we'll ever get the figure, but it'd be interesting to see what, like, the total deck things were. It might just be taking longer because there's a certain amount, like there's more people than what there was for us. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Like, I can't imagine there'd be heaps of Lunar Light players, but I'm just saying. It'd be fucking insane if he was the only one that he fucking won. Yeah, it was um, the whole team of them, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure, were running the deck. All of them were. Oh, uh, but fair, uh, yeah, from when I was watching the deck profile, at least four of them had knowledge and were saying that what they added to the deck and that one of them posted the combo video, so... Hmm, interesting. Yes, quite. Um, hmm. Otherwise, uh, and the Cyber Dragon. I forgot about that. That's just Cyber Dragon being Cyber Dragon, really. Um, no, that was one of the Australian dudes here on holiday. What? Because <laughs> we had 74 of them. Uh, He's like, oh, why is yeah. this done with? I can go on holiday now. So he decided to go to literally the coldest place in America right now. I follow. I follow. It's one of the coldest places on Earth. It's mm -hmm. pretty fucking cold. It's one of the coldest places on Earth. Earth. With an F. <laughs> Alright, moving right along. Uh, 
it, like so I don't know what the next YCS like wherever the next YCS is that's a clusterfuck I don't know how you prepare for that even for regionals I don't know how you prepare for that either like you just have to go in with the same mindset as every other one you just prepare as best you can for the decks that'll be relevant like as much as I'd like to give this guy kudos I just don't I don't think that it's legitimate yeah, like, I'm not sure how you, like, uh, I guess uh, players will learn how to negate the, the OTK. Everyone's already got their head around, I guess, the uh, as a thought combo. But, um, combo's a weird way to say it. But the OTK combo, like, yeah, I guess that can be interrupted now, so... Yeah. Learn, learn, your, learn, learn your Lunar Lights, basically, that's what you can take away from this. <laughs> you must read people. Yeah. And preemptively read. I think, like, and that's, like, that's what crazy rogue decks do, right? Like, and we see them pop up as, like, because reading it, like, during the game and then thinking, oh, shit, there was a card earlier that set up this combo that I totally would have negated. Like, that's why you kind of got to, you know, be across every deck. But then, yeah, but, but that's but also, but that's a waste of like brain, that's a waste happens. of brain power. <laughs> if there's never going to fucking turn up. The big, but that's the, the big thing. questions. Like I was, I was looking at this today, like with all the deck lists and things coming through. A lot of the decks are boiling down to what's going on in the extra deck. Like the main deck is just an engine for the extra deck, and yeah, the, the main, main deck, deck just fucking do. Yeah, it's is ten dangers. <laughs> so you don't need to learn that many yeah. things. You only need to learn what the extra deck does. Extra like extra deck ban list. Well, they're already starting that. How so? Well, firewall went. Fucking no, goblin no, no, went. About an effect burn list. Oh, not this shit again. Yeah, I'm not sure how much. Like, we'll we'll talk about this another time. <laughs> Stay okay. tuned for that. Stay tuned for that investigation. Coming to your oh, screens. Really? Never. Question. Yep. Um, that lunalite player. He was playing Nyala. Yes, 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 and uh, he raided a, a lot. What does it do? <laughs> Isn't that the one that you just rank up into Azathoth? You can, but it also has a half-relevant effect, I'm pretty sure, when it's there. Yeah, um, you detach material from it, target a monster in your graveyard, attach that monster from the graveyard to it, and it becomes that type and attribute. Yeah, so it's... So we can set up the... It gets... <laughs> What does it set up? <laughs> I mean, you just get, you know, the fusion, right? Yeah, true, but it doesn't get his name, I don't think. What's it called again? Yeah. Nyala. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when a monster is when attached by this effect, it's type and attribute yeah. become the same as that monster's type and attribute. That's all it does. Mm-hmm. Unless it just gets his lunar lights to grave and then he links it away, I don't know. Yeah, um, I remember them talking about that combo, but I, I definitely remember it being half relevant. No, must have some relevance. Favorite card art, by the way, it's pretty. No, it's disgusting. It's so Lovecraftian. Well, yes, you'd hope so. <laughs> Looks like a turd. <laughs> Lovecraftian. All right, <clears throat> moving. Ooh, on. To, da, 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 da. So it's the 29th anniversary of the OCG this week, not this week, this year. I don't know Yay. when. Oh, that comes out on my birthday. Um, <laughs> so first things first. Uh, they're gonna. There's gonna be a new Switch game. Uh, oh what? Wait, yeah. Yeah. Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution. I can't okay. Is it just that. gonna be the same thing as they've been with like the last PlayStation games and shit, where you just like play through the eras? Because that's boring as fuck. Yeah, we'll find out, I guess. But um, I guess it has um the new. We'll have the new link thing. Hopefully, hopefully they finally nail you know, updating cards, and releasing. Yeah. Like, the kind of instead of releasing a new game every few, like every like if they're releasing a new game every year, I, I could cop it, but they're not. Just update patch it. Like, just patch it. Yeah, well, I feel like most game companies are getting better with that anyway. Yeah, ish. Hold on. (laughs) 
And then the next thing uh, was it World Championship 2019 will be held in Germany, Berlin. Ooh, it's Germany. Yeah. So does that mean you can play Valkyrie Scheist? Yeah. Oh, fuck, you, you're nailing it. I, 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 no, I didn't. I fucked it up. No. <laughs> let's let's just say you nailed it. Ah, uh, yeah. So uh, mere second week of August again. Good, good times. Like that's a that's a good location instead of just you know Tokyo again. I'm sure all the people that always qualify every year will appreciate the change in scenery. Yeah. But the, um... <laughs> What's that? Bowden gets to travel there instead of to America. Well, yeah. Or, I mean... I guess, actually, well, too... Hopefully he does another vlog, because his vlog of Japan was awesome. Oh, I never saw it. I saw, um, fucking... The other... The other YouTuber... Yeah, um, I went out of my way not to watch it. The the samurai one. Uh, that that dude. Oh, sick. yeah, team samurai. Yeah, is he even a team or is it a dude? I don't know. I don't know. It seems to be a very. I don't know. There's like one face of the team, but then he seems to get like every dude's profile of the events he goes to. So either it's a very busy one man team or a very big team that only uses one person most of the time. Come nope. on the podcast and explain yourself. Yeah. Well, let's start beef. <laughs> Why are we starting beef? Why don't we just, like, network and be cool with people? Beef. No. <laughs> beef. And uh, YCS Japan, speaking of that, uh, da, 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 they get... Apparently, the last um, YCS Japan got 4,000 duelists. That's... With, with one round. Yeah. Or one game round. Yeah. Fuck that. Uh, and it's going to be split up again across different locations. So it was um, in Tokyo, uh, Nagoya, and I think Osaka's the last region. Maybe it's Kyoto. I think it, I think it was Osaka. Yeah. I so, could be talking shit, though. How about that? That'll be Actually, when is that? I could try and go. Oh, shit, I didn't look that up. Oh, they didn't say. Oh, my God. I might try and go. <laughs> I hope everyone heard that <laughs> depressed no in the background. <laughs> anyway, uh, last things, last twentieth anniversary collection. So a new OCG pack we're probably never going to get. This is what um, that cool-looking version of um, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon was in, with multiple effects and stuff. Oh, uh, the Blue Eyes Alternate Ultimate. Thingy. Yeah, yeah, like that. So this is what that's going to be in. So that makes sense. Why? I feel like this is the same. I feel like this is the same pack that um, the Malefics come in. And if it ah, is, yep. and we don't get it, I'll be very disappointed because they are so fucking cool. I want them. Oh, I'm there for. I'm there for the packs release. I can buy that. Mm. Oh. So yeah, out in the second May. No, the year two one. All right, who cares? Anyway, so the <laughs> uh, an interesting enough card in the pack that was called Dark Sacrifice. Yeah, so normal trap card. Uh, when your opponent activates a card or effect that would destroy cards on the field, negate that effect, then send one level through a lower dark monster from your deck to your graveyard. <laughs> so it's a. Why don't we send this back to BA like five years ago when they needed it? Yeah, it's a Starlight Road for BA. <laughs> It's so subpar. <laughs> it really is. Yeah. Imagine if they got it. What well, I I I don't know what its connection is to. Maybe I'm just being stupid, as per usual. But I don't. Uh, I looked at the artwork the other day and I can't remember. I think I, I I saw it and I was like, oh yeah, that's to do with that. And now I've completely forgotten. Um. I have to look it up again, Jesus Christ. Well, I just put it up on the stream. I st it still didn't drink, um, jig my memory, so... No idea. Alrighty. Um, anything we're buying, selling, or trading this week? Looking forward for... Looking forward to... Yeah, I'm buying two Cynthia's. What? Cynthia's. And Tatsulele's. Oh, you're talking about that bullshit. Yeah. Um, hey, Hugh Bragg, what are you after? Um, nothing. I, maybe I should buy some more Windstorms so I can play 
more than one speed jewel deck at one time. Because taking them out of sleeves oh, and putting them in different sleeves. The, uh, yeah. Um, it's kind of getting a bit annoying. Surely you'd have commons floating around that you could just use. Yeah, that's a good point. I could just use that and just... If it, it's not like we're playing like an official tournament or anything anytime soon. So yeah, that's about it. Like I, I was about to, like I was considering entering regionals, but I won't. I won't. Do it. There's only like there's limited space left for um to pre rego and I don't Just think I don't think the kids. <laughs> hey, I I I think I might enjoy the sleep in that day. No, fuck it. Speaking of collegians, collegians. I already one. said that I'd be keen, provided I don't have other plans. Let's go. Let's do it. Anyway, let's do a Yahoo Gio. Uh, da, da, da. Ricky asks, How to beat someone with Beyblades if the only thing you know is Yu Gi Oh cards? Uh, Pick up the Beyblade, shove it down his yeah. throat. I was going to say, like, smash it into his head. <laughs> Like just you... yell out, yell out the word dragoon, and then just bash him to death with it. Go, stay my face. Activate howling, whack. <laughs> Activate howling. Lachlan just starts autistically screeching. <laughs> uh, the top answer from Marie says, give the person paper cuts with your Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and you'll beat them. I... I Alright, well... Have I, I ever been... That person is in a mental hospital. Yeah. At, <laughs> wait, oh, bef before, before I wrap this up, has anyone got a paper cut from a Yu-Gi-Oh card before? Uh, don't I mean, I think got so. Like, I got, like, a plastic cut from a sleeve. I've had, uh... Yeah, that, I can see that. I've had, um... When the... You get the blister packs from, like, Kmart and Target and that. And like, yeah. try, like trying to cut that or open that, like I've been. Like, oh yeah, but that's not technically from the card. Yeah, like, yeah, I like that's. Like, I feel like Yu-Gi-Oh cards are too thick, or like too shiny to actually give you a paper cut. Thick. Yeah. Thick. You had a, you had a thick beach. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening. Uh, bye. <laughs>